Yo, what's up guys, another episode in Up Your Artifact Game. There's still a few more episodes to make, which is going specific on specific units in specific types of content like Arena, Siege, RTA. What kind of artifacts do I recommend and what are the certain trade-offs? So I'm going over the main units. This video is going to be Arena Offense and Arena Defense. I think Arena Defense as well. I think I can put it in one video. If it's too long, I might split it in two. Um, but let's just get going. Let's just start up. First of all, Lucian, the main AO unit that is out there. Um, what you mostly want to have is a combination of additional damage by attack, attack increasing effect, and then crit damage S3. And then you could go for like specific element damage. But the specific element damage is more, probably you want it on light, probably you want it on wind. You're not planning to kill fire that much with it. And then for the artifact on the other side, do not go like pure crit damage skill 3. Because it's one of those units that already has really high crit damage. And therefore the other stats scale probably higher than just adding like a little bit more crit damage. But in general what you want to have is a set that is a bit of everything. A bit of everything with high rolls. That's probably the best for a lot of these artifacts. And a lot of like in the whole series, just having a lot of high rolls is better than having one stat really high for most artifacts. It even counts for like additional damage by speed, HP, defense, all of that kind of jazz. Best thing it is, like is X artifact better than Y artifact? Trial and error. The best way to do it is just simply trial and error. And currently we have a free room removal. Probably if you're watching it later, you don't have that, but you could always put these units in RTA, test with the guildie, test with the friend, just see like, okay, if I hit with this, how much does my Lucian do? Okay, equip the other artifact. And as long as you do it in RTA, it doesn't cost anything. So that's a good tip, like in general. Then let's continue. Another unit that's pretty popular for AOs is Kabila. And Kabila actually has really high speed. And her second skill is multi-hit. So you do want to make use of that multi-hit and then just add like quite some damage. It's a really good Miho killer if you put on low crit rate. Yes, it's the correct element to hit dark. But multi-hits, it does kind of work out. Bastet is one of the common AO units. This one is not really good artifact for like anything. But I would add in general additional damage from HP, speed and probably accuracy as too. Bombers. Bombers want the combination of bomb damage mainly and then attack increasing effect. Actually, you want it on an attack base. You want most of these units on attack base that are uh, dealing damage. However... I noticed that if you trade off like about 4 to 5 percent bomb damage for having a different base, the bomb damage of 4 to 5 percent more. So I have, for example, a uh, bomb damage that is 9 percent with a base of 100 attack. That's worse damage than this one. So keep that in mind. And again, a bit of trial and error, like just depending on what kind of input output you have and the multipliers. But if you get like an artifact that's really high on the bomb damage, but it's not the correct stat, it can still be, or like it's not the correct base stat, it can still be pretty used. Pisama, common offense unit, also common defense unit. I think what is mainly important, like an offense wise, it's probably um, damage from, like crit damage from good, but also crit damage from bad. I think it's a combination of those two that will do pretty well. Um, and what you could opt to do as well is additional uh, damage from uh, or additional attack from low HP, which is also a pretty good one, probably both on the base of attack. Zyros. Zyros is a unit that really benefits from artifacts as well because you can put like a really high uh, accuracy S3 on it. And I think accuracy S3 is probably the most beneficial you can put on a Zyros. Try to make Zyros. Like you could even try to go Cyrus for 85 crit or 85 Aki if it's possible within your runes. Probably a swift focus set, something like that would uh, benefit from it. And then you just add like more uh, crit damage from good probably because you hit those units ba like probably at the moment where they all have full HP bar. So probably damage from good works or you would go like damage on wind damage on any tiana my tiana is actually not that well artifact but what you could do on her mainly is crit damage s2 you could go for uh aki s1 which is also not bad because then you have more chance to land that armor break which is good in case like galleon misses something and you have to bruise it out and then if you have some more aki on the s1 it also pretty is it's also pretty better and mostly tiana is used for more of when units already have low hp like in the second round so 
Crit damage from bat would be an option, at least if you are Tiana's crit damage. Galleon, of course, very commonly used unit. Um, simple, Aki S3, and probably crit damage S2, crit damage S1, single target crit damage, um, just adding like a bit more damage in general. If you already have max accuracy, then you could just go like crit damage, but you can actually go and attack Slilt 6 and then get more accuracy simply from... Uh, because you don't really need the accuracy S1, accuracy S2, it's mainly the accuracy S3, so you could opt for like more damage stats on your galley, and that mostly helps out. Jamire, it is used a bit as well for like Lucian's, uh, probably you just add like a little bit more crit damage, but most of the time he's fight anyway, so he doesn't do that much, but if you want to put something, I would probably put some more crit damage on him as well. Okay, now for defense. For defense, I'm not gonna go over all defenses. I'm gonna take like the main uh, defense or like the main units that are used for speed defenses, for stall defenses, maybe some LDs because I think quite some people have them anyways and I might as well include them. Let's start off with Clara, which I think is one of the best strippers out there right now. You have Triton and Clara, which are uh, probably the main ones. Uh, for Clara, you could go Aki S3 if you're missing the accuracy. Um, afterwards, I would just do additional damage from speed or attack because that's probably what your Clara does. And any other stats is probably not that necessary. If you have a tanky Clara, you could maybe go for like reduction on uh, water in case they Alicia Pisama you or something like that. That could be an option, but I guess it's something like that. In, in general, a lot what you want for the defense is like predict what you're going to be countered by and then put those artifacts. So in a lot of cases, it's going to be reduction damage for wind because people are going to lose you, right? So then a Vanessa. Vanessa is one of those units. It's really good to go for um, the right side uh, artifact on accuracy S2 and therefore you don't have to put any accuracy on Vanessa itself. And then on the left side, you probably want to put reduction damage from water or fire or like as much as like re damage reductions you can find. Triton, Triton I would go for reduction from wind and then adding um, Aki S2, Aki S3, mainly Aki S3. Yeah, that's just is for Triton. Triton is currently not that great in the, the meta, I think, because he's really derpy and it's still pretty possible to outspeed him because it's a must to have him on will, whereas Clara is not a must to have it on will because it counters Leo already more by having the correct element to Leo's. Vigor, if you want to use Vigor on defense, I think damage reduction from wind is highly, highly, highly needed. Um, I would add that together with uh, probably uh, recovery on S2. You could go, like in my case, I have some um, uh, accuracy S3, accuracy S1, and then some extra damage. But I think in general, if you want to put a Vigor just for arena defense, I would say recovery S2 is the way to go. Sean, pretty simple, damage reduction from wind again, and then probably want to go either uh, recovery S1 or uh, accuracy S3. And I would probably say recovery S1, that's probably better. Wait, now that I think of it, I'm not even sure if she ups the recovery by S1 because she heals someone else. I'm pretty sure she does, whatever. I'll put it in the description if it's not like that. <laughs> I don't even know for sure. Hellfest, another unit that's pretty nice on defense. It's really simple again. Reduction from wind, reduction from anything, that would be pretty nice. And probably you want to have more reduction from wind than this one. I used it together with a Nigong with the chance that he would... Um, if you actually have the HP revived more than 20%, because if I'm not mistaken, Soul Protect revives with 30% HP. If that will boost him above the 50, that would be pretty nice. So... It was kind of my idea, but uh, I only have a 16% if that would be a 50% like in total. So 20 plus 30 would be nicer. And then on the other side, you want a recovery S3. What you could do on um, what you could do on Halfass is extra damage for his S2 and his S2 therefore heals more. So you could go um, additional damage from HP, which is pretty nice. But his recovery S3 actually increases. Um, the moment you put in recovery artifact on it. The damage output from that skill, however, is still based on your um, max HP and it does not increase as by... Like, if you could increase that damage by the artifacts you have, half us would be really OP and really, really good. But uh, adding additional damage lines do not count for the third skill too bad. So, 
that would be really nice if you would go like let's say two percent damage from hp so every and then you have like a 40k hp uh health s and then you just add like a lot more damage on your s3 that doesn't work apparently but his s2 also life drain so if you put extra damage there that life drain it's also multi-hit it is aoe you have way more chance of actually healing above the 50 percent so that's a good artifact to go for as well rika probably one of those units you want to do damage reduced from wind you could do or not from wind from water um you could go for like additional damage lines you could go aki s2 aki s3 it's probably somewhere around those things Balan is pretty similar to Rika actually. Did you say Rocky or Rika? I don't even know. But it's pretty similar. You just want to go for like Aki S2, Aki S3. And on the other side you want damage reductions. Or you could actually go increase damage on wind. So you counter Lucian's harder. Which is also a pretty decent option for Balanus. Not for Rika. Juno on defense. Juno on defense you probably... It's one of those units. It's actually not that bad if you would go um, speed from low HP. On the other side you probably want reducers of anything. But let's say you have a really tanky uh, Juno. And then you have like... Let's say you stack like 100% like speed from low HP. It can be pretty, pretty beneficial on a Juno. Plus you could go recovery S3. But her recovery S3 is conditional. And it doesn't always heal. If they go Lucian's you don't heal. They actually have to stun or land anything. But you can increase like the healing by quite some. Because her healing is based off her max HP. If you have a lot of HP Juno. She gets more turns based on like the artifact uh, speed for lost HP. And then recovery on top of that. So... That's one unit you can add quite some artifacts that are pretty beneficial. Looking at some units I don't have. Molly for example, same thing as I just said on the Juno. S3 recovery, speed from low HP. And that's pretty much it. Very straightforward. The king of arena defense cannot exclude him. I would probably just go um, additional damage lines on him. Just uh, make him do a lot more damage. Additional damage from speed, additional damage from HP and... You could go Eki S2. Th those are probably the good lines on a Tian Lang. You don't see him too often on defense, but you see him from time to time. I would put Ragdoll probably just on crit damage. Anything crit damage is still single target crit damage. You could go for like speed from low HP or anything like that. Uh, I would not go for the reflect damage. That one is really terrible. I think it's also removed right now. And that's probably it a unit that i forgot but i also have uh savannah so of course accuracy s3 and then just adding more damage or you could go uh reduce from wind yeah i would actually i would say go reduce from wind and um, but only if you already are on the point where you could survive uh illusion like if you're 15k hp and you are like oh but i have like 30 percent reduced damage from wind you're still gonna hella die so if you have like a 30k hp 35 40k hp savannah then you can start thinking about reducing the damage from wind otherwise just add more damage because you would die to illusion anyway for the people that do want to put pisama on defense pisama i would actually go reduce damage from water not from wind from water to Illusion, you're gonna die anyways. But the main thing is, uh, one of the main AOs against uh, Pisama, which makes most Pisama defenses really food, is, well, Lucians, of course, but beside that is Alicia, Kabila, um, Bastet, and Pisama itself. So if you have, those are two water damage dealers. If Pisama S2 into Alicia S3 doesn't kill the Pisama and doesn't kill anyone on the team, that team, that AO is going to lose. So therefore Pisama, if you put it on defense, make it a little bit tanky, reduction from um, water, and then it might give like some more wins. But in general, I don't really recommend Pisama as the leader on your defense. Another unit you see from time to time, Shinze, you see it on defense, um, just reduction from wind i guess um he's probably gonna get bombed it's one of those teams that are more likely to get bombed than others and you can't really artifacts against bombs so just add whatever to be honest <laughs> like people if you have a jinxie molly vigor or something people are not that likely to lucian you people are way more likely to bomb you and to be honest there's no good artifacts against bombs which makes bombs in current meta pretty useful ao Acroma, also a unit you see more on defense these days. Not too sure if it's that good, to be honest. Because it's really tanky, then doesn't do any damage. And if the team has any form of like a little bit of bruiser-ish, you already win. And people are most likely not going to lose you anyways. For artifacts though, I'm not too sure. Probably an Eki S2. And besides that, maybe some damage reduces from wind or something. 
Miho, it is used from time to time on defense. I would probably just go for like damage on counters, uh, crit damage as ones. Maybe Eki as one as two, that could be an option. And then on the left side, you could always go like reducers for like any damage, but I would probably go like more crit or like more counter damage in general because she's gonna get hit and get countered. And if you get bombed again, there's no artifacts against bombs that much, so you died in anyway. And yeah, that's it. So I think that's about it. Sure, I probably missed some units here and there. It's like, how about the Kali or like something like that? It's pretty straightforward. You just add more damage on the skill that wants to do more damage. And for the defense, you predict what is most likely to hit you and you do the reduction on damage for that. And then some niche things here and there. So if I missed a few key units, I'll put them in the comments or I put it in the description or anything like that. If you, you just, just put it in the comments if I missed any unit. But Besides that, a lot of those units, you can kind of see the pattern, like what I'm aiming at with, like with these artifacts. And you could say like, okay, uh, so he mentioned Triton. So let's see how that works for Wunsa. Okay, then probably the same, more or less. So with that said, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and uh, see you in the next one. Gonna do like at least two or three more. One for Siege, one for RTA, and then I think it's pretty much end of the series unless I find anything that is still related and useful. But those videos, I think somewhere end of this week or probably start of next week, they will be released. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, like this video and see you here. See you in the next one.